everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning March 15th, 2021. As I mentioned last week, I was going to wear a scandalous top and to show everybody you can't tell women what to wear or degrade them for their bodies. But I don't think I have that. I thought I had that, but it's actually kind of classy. So anyway, this is this is it. This is <laughs> scandalous as she's getting whatever. So <laughs> let's, I feel like I just want to dive into the cards this week. I'm going to start out with this deck here. And then as we go, of course, I will be sort of channeling the messages as well. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Go over and check out my meditations and courses that live on Gumroad, gumroad.com slash angelsouls. And of course, a very special thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. If you would like to support me on Patreon, all that information is down below. Of course, as always, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I'm so close to 100,000 subscribers. These two want to come out. They've got something to say. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> and then, and then here's the other one for this deck. We'll get to the other ones here and just, oh, nope, that one's come out too. This might be a lot of cards this week. So if you're into cards, what we're doing okay so <laughs> let's see what we have here we have let's put them in order that they came out like that i think lemurian courts practice patience so this is a big one because i feel like you know we, we're all about immediacy right uh i want it now i don't want to have to work for it <laughs> i don't have to learn any lessons on a soul level this is saying have patience with yourself I know like when we work through things and we suddenly have a realization about a past event, a past person, whatever, and you, you realize, oh, it was so simple. You might be tempted to beat yourself up and say, you know, oh my God, why didn't I, why didn't I realize that sooner? It's, it's right there in front of my face. You had a lot of growing that came out of that. So fear not, everything is exactly the way that it needs to be. Then we have carnelian, feature creativity. This is all about expression. And this is even, um, you know, kind of flow of money and, um, you know, life force. You know, this is very Archangel Gabriel kind of territory. So what is your truth? What is your emotional truth? This can also be a fiery idea around a creative project. That's coming up for some of you out there. But um, it's more than that. It's more than just a project that you can engage in. Yeah, it, it's, it's the truth that comes, the emotional truth that comes out that makes you want to take a completely different direction. <laughs> now, a completely different direction doesn't necessarily have to look a certain way on the surface. It doesn't mean that you have to, you know, change jobs, I mean, unless you choose to. But um, this is more about changing the approach that you take, okay? And being more creative about that uh, and realizing, yeah, they're just saying you don't, you don't have to make things so hard on yourself, as maybe you've been tempted to do in the past. Okay. Then we have aquamarine, go with the flow. Go with the flow. <laughs> Stop trying too hard. Stop over planning. This is that feeling of like future tripping, <laughs> right? And what gets us stuck, and this is the feeling I'm getting here. What gets us stuck is not being at peace with where we are. So that's that practice patience card. Not listening to the creativity as it is coming forward. That's the carnelian card so this is saying you know the universe has some ideas for you but do you want to open up to them or do you want to <laughs> just take it over and and think that the options that are in front of you are the only options and the only way that you can go forward then we have tiger's eye overcome your fears but as soon as i saw tiger's eye come out this is going along right with all these other cards here that's talking about have the courage to find your voice have the courage to face your emotions do you feel like your emotions have been shut down you know, are you somebody who you grew up with a family that told you that emotions are bad, that it makes you weak, that you're a bother, you, you're not wanted here? You know, there's a lot of stuff that there's a lot of um, infiltrating energy that ended up getting to the children. And I don't know, maybe that's too deep a topic for here, but ended up getting to the children and, and then they become adults and they're not well adjusted and now they're... And I think I've mentioned this before, but I had a CEO from like way back in the early 2000s try to buy me, okay? 
I said it. That's my truth. I'm going to let some of this stuff out. You know, I mean, we don't have to, like I said, if we're talking about empowering women and being like, hey, you can speak your truth. You can do what you want and you don't need to worry about other people's backlash uh, and, and being fearless, overcome your fears and having courage. That's part of the processing that you're going through right now. Okay. That's part of finding your voice and speaking up and saying, uh, you know, no, I'm going to set a boundary here. But where does that come from? Where does that come from? Somebody thinking that they could buy another human being like that. Or in this case, in this particular example, it was a powerful, wealthy man who saw in his mind was a less powerful, maybe he took me as mousy because I was very much a people pleaser back then. Um, and someone who he could easily control. Those Let's just generically call them thought forms. Those thought forms, you know what I'm talking about though, those thought forms are out there and it is a part of the grid. And that is part of what we're being asked to break through. How do you do that? You go on back. If you are somebody who has suffered from some sort of childhood abuse, God forbid, and if you have my love to you, uh, I understand you, okay? If, you, if you've gone through that, you can always go back to that inner child and reparent that child love that child. Yes. And try to recapture your emotions. That's that carnelian card. Okay. And also with, um, the tiger's eye being grounded, be grounded, find yourself, admit these truths to yourself. Okay. And then we have clear courts, get crystal clear, get crystal clear. It's a wake up moment. Like, oh my gosh, that yeah, I, I thought that was normal, but yeah, I, I was kind of shunned by my family. Yeah, I was blamed for everything. I was the scapegoat of my family. These are the kinds of things that might be coming up this week that, I mean, again, make sure you have proper support. Make sure you have a really good therapist. But if, it, if it's, it's going to be unpleasant for some. I'm just going to tell you right now, but it can be very empowering once you come out the other side. And that's really what we're talking about. Break the rules. Don't let other people put their expectations in you. Be a rebel. Be a loving rebel. <laughs> How about that on a t-shirt? Be a loving rebel. That's what we want. All right. So then we have show the world the real you. Didn't we have this last week? Full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Again, you don't have to give in to other people's perceptions. We say this all the time, but it keeps coming up because we're still working on it. But what, what needs to be rectified? What needs to be cleared away? They're saying that the things that we have taken as normal, that needs to go away now. Because some of these things that... Um, we, we never gave any thought to, I, I gave this example a long time ago in a video, I was watching a TV show and they had a real baby. The actress was holding a real baby and they're playing out this scene where the, there's a couple that's supposed to be screaming at each other and the baby really is terrified and the baby is really crying. Has anybody stopped and thought? Hey, that's a real baby in that scene that's really going through this right now. Is really being maybe even traumatized by these people fighting. You know, it's stuff like that. Stuff that we just have been asleep to. So there is, you know, we are waking up, but it's that sort of thing. It's, it's like waking up to these things that never dawned on us. So we are in this, you know, next form of awakening and realizing what needs to be cleared and what work still needs to be done. I mean, it's... You know, I mean, for some people, they're going to really fight against that, but it needs to be done. So I'm pulling another card here. A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon and cancer. Oh my gosh, emotions, lighting up your emotions. Look at this. It's all about, let me get the, these cards out here. It's all about the emotional healing here and purifying and letting things go and saying, no, I will not accept this anymore. No, you're not going to hold me back anymore. You do not define me. You do not tell me. And, you know, especially if, you know, perfect example with the YouTube channel, people use ridicule to try to control you. Ha ha ha. Like I've been saying, look at what you're wearing or, oh my God. Um, I, I think I've told this story before, but it was like 2014, 2015. I had decorated my background for Valentine's Day. 
And because I put a little bit of effort into it, I pulled the camera back so you could see me from the waist up. And that's where I got a bunch of hate from people saying, you're just trying to use your body to get more views. And you're just like, listen, I'll go get that scandalous top. I don't, I don't know where I'm going to get one, but I'll find it. Okay. And I, Ooh, that you want to talk about emotional baggage and like, you know, something that needed to clear away was I cared too much about what these people thought of me. And when I saw that, the accusation was like, and then I'm like, and what if from the waist up, I'm in the frame? So what? So what? My body can be in the frame. It's my body. I walk around in it. I can do whatever I want with it. Right? So this is that kind of thing where we're healing something. You know, a personal issue reaches resolution. What was my problem? Why did that trigger me so much? Because people act entitled to me and historically have acted entitled to my body to cross my boundaries, to assault me, to violate me. And so when someone's even just looking at me and saying, you can't do, you know, that was something I had to come through. And so, you know, I'm still in the process of doing that. And I hope you guys are all working on your issues as well. But this is showing like a great breakthrough through being honest and being brave. That's that. Why did I stack these up like this? I was going to need them. <laughs> That's where Tiger's Eye comes in. So, yes, it's about us releasing our fears um, and overcoming our fears. But it's about being courageous and saying, I don't care what you say about me. I don't care. I'm going to do what feels right for me. And you know what? What's more, you're not going to stifle. It was in my hand the entire time. You're not going to tell me that I can't be creative or have thoughts outside of your very analytical bullet pointed way of thinking. You're not going to tell me or diminish me. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to tell me I can't communicate in the way that I want to. So that's really what we're talking about here. We're talking about Man, there is a huge release going on here. A huge release and something that you've been wanting to let go of for a long time. Okay, now go, don't go anywhere. All right, so let's get a color card here. And just think about where can you start living more authentically? Whatever that means for you. You know, what, what are the things that you're tired of? <laughs> what do you need to make a point on? You know, by all means, get on out there and express yourself and do it unapologetically. You don't have to cower under, you know, their scrutiny. Okay, like, no. So there's, I'm telling you guys, it's gonna be different for everyone out there. Leave your comments down below because I would love to know where your rebel moment comes from and how you expressed it. Remember, this is not ego. It's not about ego. It's about not letting people cross your boundaries, not letting people infiltrate your energetic field and try to manipulate you and control you. Uh, manipulative people, better watch out. Oh, I'm not kidding. Uh, God sees everything. All right, so <laughs> our color card is violet, create a balanced life. The number is 45, reduces to nine. Let this be a time of completion. Let this be a time where you can lay down your worries and say, I'm going to live the way I want. If I want to wear something crazy, I'm going to do it. If I want to, you know, go out and sing, even though I'm really bad at it, I'm going to do it. <laughs> right? There's nothing more beautiful than a person who's just living. Right? They're just living. They're just loving their life. They don't care. I mean, you know, I've been using clothes as a big example here, but like when someone's walking down the street and they're just wearing what they feel good, they're just stomping the streets in their best look. I'm like, yes. Even if it's not something that I would personally wear or that you wouldn't see <laughs> a stylist pick out, it's authentic to that person. And there's nothing anybody could ever put on that person to make them more beautiful than what they are. Remember that. Now, I do want to mention that Violet is also about the Violet Flame. This is Archangel Zadkiel, Z-A-D-K-I-E-L, Archangel Zadkiel kind of energy where we are transmuting. So what have, what have been the bad messages that you've received throughout your life? Mine was that you have to live for a man and you have to be a certain standard of beauty before a man's going to even look at you. And if a man pays any attention to you, uh, then you owe him something. You owe him your attention. For little boys, it could be you have to be rich and powerful to get someone to love you, you know, or you have to pick a gender. That's really bad 
messaging too. You have to pick a gender, you know, it's this or that <laughs> kind of thing. Whatever your experience is, remember we are a family here. There's no judgment. Please leave your comments down below. What is your rebel turning point? The loving rebel, okay? What is your loving rebel turning point? What's coming up for you this week? Let's share it with one another. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.